Praise the Lord. Dr. Mr. Care. Victory is mine today. Oh, happiness is mine. Happiness is mine. Happiness is mine today. Yes, happiness is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. That's right. I want you to open up your Bible to Romans 8, starting with the 37th verse. The topic is God gives you the victory. And I may seem that I'm rushing, but I have a lot to say. And I want you to think about what victory really means. Victory is the mastery of success, the overcoming of odds, the endeavorment of great overcoming power against great odds. I guess you got Romans 8 and I'm getting ready to read. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. No, I'm going to read it again. Despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow, nor even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or even the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So as long as we are in Christ, we are in his love. And when we are in his love, we have the mastery of success. We have that power. Death can't separate us. Demons can't separate us. Even the horrors of fears cannot separate us. Turn your Bible to first. Corinthians fifteen fifty four. First Corinthians. Let me see if I can find it myself. Fifteen fifty four. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I just may read one verse because we don't have. A whole lot of time. And it just says death is swallowed up in victory. Death is swallowed up in victory. That says a lot. Because that tells us that victory has power over death. Victory has power over death. I want you to just think about that. Let me be quiet for a few moments. Let me go back. Then when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies that will never die, this scripture will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? For sin is the sting that results in death, and the Lord gives us in, gives in sin in his power. But thank God he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. That means everything you do for God, it's, it's meaningful, it's worth something to God. It's meaningful and worth something. Turn to Matthew. Matthew 5. Jesus gives the Sermon on the Mount, starting at verse 3. God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him. So even when you're poor, you're blessed. For the kingdom of God is theirs. God blesses those who mourn. When you feel mournful, you lost somebody, for they will be comforted. He blesses you. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for just, justice, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses those when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you. And sometimes I say, boy, have I been lied on. And say all sorts of evil things against you because you are followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. So you see, you're blessed. Further down on the 13th verse, it says, You are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. He says, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hid, hidden. No one lights the lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where to give light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all those to see so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father. So you see, you are blessed. No matter how you cut the cheese, you are blessed and you have victory and that's why i started singing that song victory is mine victory is mine today every time you see that in that beatitude you are blessed you have that song victory is mine victory is mine victory today is mine I told Satan, get ye behind. Victory today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get ye behind. Victory today is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. I told Satan, get ye behind. Joy today is mine. Love is mine. Love is mine. Love today is mine. I told Satan, get ye behind. Love today is mine. Peace is mine, peace is mine, peace today is mine. I tell Satan, get ye behind, peace today is mine. Power is mine, power is mine, power today is mine. Power, 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 power. Power 
today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine.